Good morning, good afternoon, everyone. It is a true honor to be part of this important occasion and help shed light on the situation that many people on the move face regarding HIV AIDS. As you may know, since its inception, IOM has been working closely with the member states, the UN system and other partners to deliver and uh, promote comprehensive health programs which are beneficial, accessible and equitable for migrants and uh, mobile populations. Bridging the needs of both migrants and member states, IOM, through its uh, global network of over 1,200 health staff and in close collaboration with partners, aims to enhance the physical, mental and uh, social well-being of migrants, enabling them and host communities to contribute to sustainable e social and economic development. Although migration in itself is not a risk factor for contracting the virus, throughout the journey migrants may face circumstances in which they are more vulnerable and exposed to increased risk of infection, as well as exclusion from prevention and health promotion activities. Among the beneficiaries of several IOM HIV programs till today, we have been migrant workers, both in regular or irregular situations, across a range of sectors, including transport, mines, maritime and infrastructure, mobile populations in crisis settings, such as internally displaced persons and refugees, families and partners of migrants, including sex workers, as well as persons affected by sexual and gender-based violence and trafficking. Ahead of tomorrow's important United Nations General Assembly high-level meeting on HIV and AIDS, it is critical to highlight the importance of ending the stigmatization of all people living with HIV including migrants and their families. To effectively fight the spread of uh, transmission, individuals must have access to accurate health advice and adequate health care without any fear of discrimination. Now COVID-19 has made even more evident how inequity increases health risks affecting especially the health outcomes of the left-behind populations. As people and countries continue to face the consequences of the pandemic, it remains vital that migrants in vulnerable situations, including those at increased risk of HIV infection, have access to essential health services. The global response to COVID-19, as well as national deployment and vaccination plans, should include migrants with comorbidities such as HIV, in line with the WHO roadmap for prioritization of COVID-19 vaccines. As IOM, we continue to witness a wide range of barriers still limiting the equitable access of migrant populations to testing, health and vaccination services, such as administrative requirements and the absence of firewalls. We must come together to strengthen efforts to reduce these barriers to health services such as equitable provision of voluntary HIV testing, counselling for migrants in their communities, and an interrupted treatment including antiretroviral therapy across borders. At the policy level, regional and uh, cross-border cooperation that takes a whole of government and a whole of society approach is imperative as well as adopting migrant-inclusive policies to protect migrants' rights, for example, against the mandatory testing and restrictions on the movement of people living with HIV. We welcome 
The inclusion of migrants in the 2021 political declaration on HIV and AIDS and its adoption at the high-level meeting this week of particular importance is the recognition of how intersecting inequalities, including based on migration status, have challenged the reaching of global HIV targets and of the necessity of collecting, using and sharing relevant disaggregated data by migration status for identifying key populations who are at higher risk of exposure to HIV. IOM stands ready to support governments and partners in achieving global health goals towards ending HIV AIDS, including the Global AIDS Strategy 2021-2026 and, of course, the 2030 Sustainable Development Goals. It is imperative that national and local HIV plans consider mobility aspects and engage with migrant communities themselves to ensure effective action. We must not forget the principles of universal health coverage for migrants, as societies cannot truly develop without healthy migrant communities. As the coordinator and secretariat of the United Nations Network on Migration, IOM encourages its members to further engage on promoting the health of migrants as a condition for better global development outcomes. Working towards migrant inclusive policies and inclusive practices undoubtedly contributes to the objectives of the Global Compact for Migration and to shaping greater coherence in migration governance and also health policies. In our efforts to leave no one behind, I sincerely hope to strengthen our collaboration with each other, through with this important discussion today, but also beyond, for the protection of the most vulnerable. Thank you.